Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So glad to have you here. Thank you for stopping by. This is a quick trip to Family Dollar. You know, I always watch a lot of DIYs and organization videos on YouTube, but then when I get into the Dollar Tree or Family Dollar, I'm just like overwhelmed. I'm going to have to be like more specific about what I want and what project I'm going to do. So right now I'm just looking through the store. part three of my cleaning and renovation and organizing video for the home that I am moving into. As you can see, this grout is so dirty. It is about to drive me up a wall. So I found out about a hack, a grout hack that you can use the Lysol tidy bowl uh, stuff that you use for your bathroom to clean the grout. So I'm going to put this down, just try it out right here and see for about 10 minutes and let's see what happens. Okay, so while I'm waiting guys, I'm going to tackle this drawer and empty it all out and get it clean. Okay, so now that I've just about gotten everything out of the drawer, I'm going to get ready to clean it. Okay guys, I had this crazy idea to try to clean the sink out with the tidy bowl. And I can tell you now, it didn't go over too well. Okay, so I've cleaned out the other drawer. 
emptied it out and now I'm cleaning it out as well. Okay guys, so the two drawers are done and all cleaned out and ready for use. I'll show you what I did. I think I might have showed you in another video, but anyway, let's get back to this floor. I wanted to do a little trial and error. It's been sitting for way over 10 minutes, so let's see what happens. Okay, so here I bought a little broom. I was trying to see if I could get it up with that. You know, you might call it lazy. I call it my back is killing me. So I was trying to see if I could get that, get it up with that. That didn't work. The next thing I tried was a sponge or a little Brillo pad, a little plastic Brillo pad. That didn't work. So subsequently, I had to just go ahead and reach down there and get that, uh, clean that grout. Okay, guys, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do y'all see what I see? Oh my gosh. I just don't think that the video is giving it the best look, but oh, that grout came clean enough. I'm satisfied. And I think, well, I know it'll be lighter once it dries. Can y'all see that difference? Oh, I can see that. That is good. I am a happy camper right now. Let's get to cleaning this grout. about 10 or 15 minutes you already know and while that's happening I'm going to work on the drawers again I'm going to be putting gray liners in here and I'm also going to be putting my silverware here so if you're cooking you can just turn around grab some silver silverware or turn around and grab some you know uh, sterling some stainless steel spoons or whatever it is that you need
my gosh, you have no idea what this clean grout makes me feel like on the inside. Oh my goodness. By the way, guys, this is a pan that I'm going to be throwing away. It has some stains in the bottom of it, which is why I'm using it. I will not, I repeat, I will not be washing this pan out and cleaning it to cook in. So, no worries, okay? I can hear y'all. I can hear y'all saying, do y'all see that pot? Is she using the cooking pot? No, I'm not. I'm going to throw it away. Guys, look at that grout. That is beautiful. Oh my God, look at that. I am so happy. Not clean, clean. Not clean, clean. Not clean, clean. Woo chop. Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It is me, Pastor Kim. So, um, I'm in the process of moving and so I'm cleaning. Um, I'm, it's, I just came from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to show y'all what I have. So hi guys. Now let me say. So let me say this. I'm trying to reorganize this kitchen or organize it. And so you may have seen some of the cleaning that I've done already. So, but when I go into the dollar store, I watch so many videos on uh, organizing and. <sighs> DIYs and everything. But when I go into the Dollar Tree, I get overwhelmed. I'm like, it's too much stuff. I don't know what to choose from. I haven't taken any measurements. I'm just like, oh my goodness. So let me show you guys what I purchased. Um, I think one bag was from Family Dollar, but the rest is from the Dollar Tree. So let me show you. So <clears throat> I bought some containers. These containers are gonna go in the pantry. This is just, I'm just gonna use this to wash, like put in the, in the sink to sort of wash. I wanted one that was deeper, but I couldn't find it. These I'm going to put on the bottom of the mop to try to mop up a little bit of stuff. This is the uh, foam mounting squares. I bought the squares and the circles to sort of hold down these little plastic containers. I bought a stack of these. These come three each. And I must have bought about five or six of those. That's what my utensils are gonna go in. I have uh, baking soda, the gloves. That came from Amazon. I bought a new um, stopper. I bought some more liner because I ran out. The original one came from um, Walmart, but this one came from Family, I mean from Dollar Tree. It's very, very similar. You probably won't be able to tell the difference. I won't be able to tell the difference. <laughs> so I bought two of those. Since the Lysol worked so well, I was like, okay, let me try the Dollar Tree one. I mean, the Lysol one for the grout was $2.75. That was worth every dime. Bought some gloves, some heavy duty gloves. Those are from Family Dollar. Um, bought an air freshener. Love, you know, I love aromatherapy. Bought some water, toilet tissue, and paper towels. So, all of what I bought from the Dollar Tree was uh, $35, you know? Every four items is $5, so that's, that's how that goes. All right, so I'm going to get started continuing with this cleaning and organizing process, and I'm going to share that with you, if you allow me to. Don't know what will last. That's gonna be. 
the grout again I use the Lysol here and then in another spot I use the cheaper one the dollar store version and we're gonna find out what happened if the dollar store version was just as good as the Lysol one okay guys we'll find out in the next video because you know I don't like to make my videos too long unless you're really interested have a blessed day a purposeful life and know that I love you with that agape love stay blessed You'll be fine